welcome to a very special Doctor Who 4 review. Um, today uh, I'm going to be reviewing something that I made again, um, but something that I put a very uh, hard, hard amount of effort into really. Um, yesterday I made a video and if you've already seen the video you may have seen it um, and then clicked on a response and that's this video um, and I told you that I was making a Dalek, just a custom Dalek to celebrate the 47th anniversary of the creation of the Daleks really um, so this is the finished product um, and I'm just going to talk a bit over uh, what it looks like and what it's made out of really um, and also I'm going to compare it to an actual Dalek figure um, and a previously made Dalek um, to sh show you how um, much this is an, impro an improvement so just starting off um, it's your basic Dalek shape you've got sort of a, a pepper pot um, style there uh, then you've got your little nodule sensor globes here you've got a skirt uh, base you've got a strip here, you've got the little strips along here you've got the four um, strips going up here, you've got the lights you've got an eye stalk you've got a ray gun, some kind of ray gun um, uh, a plunger and a little rounded sort of or some kind of thing in the middle there uh, it's a sort of a royal blue colour which is something I quite like um, and I specifically chose it because I like the colour it's my favourite colour and um, I'm a little bit weird and I can taste them and it tastes of tuna so that's the only reason why I've um, chosen that colour no real other reason. Also it was sort of a really good colour just to choose for a Dalek um, it's got silver as the other colour to it um, and that's it. There's no other colour apart from the black, obviously, just for the lights and the ice on the eye stalk and the gun. No, sorry, the plunger. And on the base, uh, just so it isn't like several colours on the base. Um, what I've done is, if you've watched the previous video, um, I'll put a link in the uh, uh, in the uh, description box below um, or actually no I'll put an annotation just there and it's gone um, I'll also put a link in the in the box below um, to show to show you exactly what it's made up of um, but to add to what it's made up of because of course I've added more to it um, the skirty base thing is just card these are um, drawing pins, you know, sort of um, pins you do use in a cork board or a notice board. Um, just painted silver and stuck on. Uh, and I think that's it. Oh yes, and this has been added to these two bits there. They're both card as well and they're literally just stuck on and all painted silver. Um, it's all been varnished, or painted, then varnished, um, and then varnished again, just to uh, give it a nice, give it a protection, give it a bit more of a secure feel, because I intend to sort of almost use it as a toy, and um, just to give it a nice overall look. Now, to compare it to another Dalek that you know exactly pretty much what it looks like. That's it compared to the Series 1 reveal toy. I'm not going to reveal it because that would just be a waste of time. 
Uh, but that's it compared to a normal Dalek. Um, of course, there's no movement on this apart from the slight wobbly wobbliness of the eye stalk. Um, but that's it compared to that. It's a pretty similar size, seeing as I measured it all up so that it would be the same size. Um, or a similar size, I should say. Um, so that's it compared to that. Um, and, oh, sorry. That's my tea mug. You've seen my tea mug. Uh, and to compare it to something I made around two years ago, which I thought at the time was absolutely brilliant, it's that Dalek there, yeah not quite as classy um, yeah that's not a very good Dalek you can see how much my uh, building has improved uh, over about two years sorry if, you fe if you're seeing any wobbles on the uh, screen it's because I've got this on my music stand and it's really really wobbly that's the whole point of them, isn't it? Um, if you play anything. Uh, and, sorry, just to compare it, I thought it would look quite cool. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry. Ah. Just a minute. There we are. Oh, whoa. See, they are wobbly, aren't they? There's it compared to the fourth Doctor. Oh, that's quite cool. Um, so yes, it's quite a colourful Dalek, um, and I've decided to make this a custom Supreme uh, 1970s, like sort of early 70s Dalek. Um, so that's my uh, custom Dalek figure um, next to the Doctor. Hang on. There we are. And he's a good size compared to figures which and other Daleks, which is quite cool. Um, so, just summing off then, if you'd like uh, any help or tips on how to make a Dalek, I'd be very happy to tell you or even show you if I get enough requests. I may even make a, uh, a how to make sort of a Dalek video um, thing in the future if I get enough requests. Um, if you need any tips on certain materials depending on what you're using to make a Dalek I'll tell you. Um, all you have to do is either leave a comment below the video or send me a message um, or even leave on my channel page uh, and of course there's a link to your top left for my channel. Um, so, thanks for watching, I hope that review's just been a little entertaining, and I hope you like my Dalek. Um, so, thanks for watching, and that's bye-bye from Doctor Who 4.